Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm talking about the Umarex HDR50. First and foremost, I want to apologize about the title because um, the gun itself isn't actually useless. It's the laws that are the problem here. So um, without any more delay, let's get straight into it. I won't do a full review on the Umarex HDR50 because there are already a lot of them out there on YouTube. Instead, I'm just gonna talk about the things I like and those are, I didn't like the look at first, but it's grown on me. It is imposing, it's a big gun. It's got a nice weight and feel to it. Um, it shoots 50 caliber rounds, which you can see by the large bore there. I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick that up, but um, it means that there's a wide variety of ammunition that you can get for this. And, um, a lot of noise which the kind of drama that comes from the the bang you get from shooting this you don't i've not got with any other air gun air pistol so um it is fun to shoot and it's pretty destructive i've got a video of me um destroying a solid piece of wood with it there's not much fruit that can stand up to this thing so um there's a lot of fun to be had with it but it is made for home defense so um let's talk about that now, as we know, the T4E range comes in two purposes, home defense, home defense, you know, that, that kind of cross over, and train for engagement. This one falls under the home defense one. Um, the problem in this country is the law. Um, if you were to use this in a home defense scenario, you've got to be prepared for the repercussions. And that's because here in the UK, we don't have a self-defense law what we have instead is our law is based on here in the uk we don't have a self-defense law what we have instead is a law based on reasonable force and um that's down to interpretation so if you were to use this you better be prepared for the repercussions because what you interpret as reasonable and what a court is going to interpret as reasonable might be two different things. Now, as you can see from the screenshot that I've overlaid here off the actual law in this country, um, you are actually allowed to defend yourself in your home and you are actually allowed to use a weapon to do so. However, a weapon such as this is a gun some people might interpret as unreasonable because there's a sense of pre-planning going ahead that you've gone and bought it in advance with the sole purpose of one day you might be able to cause someone harm with it and that will especially look bad in court if you modify it so I'll make it more powerful than it's supposed to be this one here is 11 joules that's about eight foot pounds be modified to go up to 30 but if you were to do that and if god forbid you had to use it i'm pretty sure that in a court they would say there's nothing reasonable about that because you've gone out your way to make it more deadly than make it capable of causing more harm than the manufacturer intended so if you modified it and used it in my opinion you're going to be in trouble also with a large choice of ammunition, you can get spikes, um, you can get real bullets, you can get, the list is endless. Um, endless amounts of ammunition that can cause extra damage. Again, the fact that you go out and purchase these and if you ended up using it, it's probably gonna be used against you that you went out and you purchased ammunition that's spiky, that's deadly. Um, because you had the intent of causing serious harm, not just stopping an intruder, you wanted to seriously hurt an intruder. So if you were to do that, I think you're going to be in trouble. Now the issue here is, as I said, the most reasonable ammunition. So this is the 11 joule version, so it's the most powerful one you can get here in the UK. 
think it's the most powerful one that comes out of the factory. Rubber ammunition in here, two different types. Um, two different types of rubber ammunition. Uh, plain rubber and some heavier rubber balls with a, it's a steel, steel composite, which in my opinion is reasonable here. But that's where its usefulness for home defense comes into question because reasonable, if under a stressful situation, if you were to use this, you probably go for body shots. In a home defense scenario, close quarters, that is gonna hurt like hell. Some people are being shot with nine millimeter bullets and they will still keep coming. So when you put that into perspective, it's gonna hurt like hell, but it's gonna stop someone if they really, really wanted to hurt you. It's not. If you face shot someone, it's gonna hurt even more and it could cause damage, you hit the eye, the, their eyeball's gone, um, and it's gonna knock teeth out and things like that. It will cause considerably more damage if you get a face shot. Shouldn't kill them, but it could. Uh, in my opinion, the best thing to do with this is hope you never have to use it. Have a lot of fun with it, shooting destructible things, but if you're getting this thinking it's gonna save you, uh, it might not. And uh, that's my thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.